What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're already subscribed and if you're not subscribed, please consider to subscribe because there's a ton of details for you guys to elevate your game, right? So as you guys can see, I'm in a no gi outfit today. So thank you. I'm so appreciate for all of you guys for requesting and I'm getting a lot of requests from no gi scenario. I'm gonna try mixing the game, some no gi concept for you guys. Okay, and today I'm gonna show you guys two important arm drag right one on that uh, uh my professor marcelo garcia it's expert on it and he gave me a lot of good tip that i'm gonna share with you guys today right i'm gonna show exactly the same thing i'm gonna show two scenarios what what different one to the other but those de these details are gonna change your game for better i'll guarantee you guys this okay and also i'm gonna show the same concept in a gi Right? Sometimes people don't go for the arm drag in a gi because they have collar grip or whatever. So there's a ton of details also for you with the, the gi scenario, okay? So the first part is gonna be no gi and stick around. You're gonna show you in a gi towards the end, okay? So the first one, I'm gonna be hit with Matt. So the first one is gonna be like, a lot of people are afraid to commit to the arm drag, right? So basically the name tells you arm drag. So the person grab the arm, pull the person to the side, it's very, very tricky, and the person can literally take the leg out, okay? So, for example, let me show you this angle. So, when I go for the arm drag, I'm going to show two scenarios, okay? I'm going to show my favorite one. So, this is not my favorite. So, when I go for the arm drag, Matt's going to take the arm out. So, I'm going to go here. I'm going to pull, and then you uh, you're going to pull the leg out, actually. So, I'm going to be here. I'm going to pull, pull. And then, I commit to the arm only, and the person's leg gets lighter, right? So, I'm going to go into a single leg. Okay, so the first arm drag, I'm gonna go for the single leg, okay? I'm showing the two different ones. So the first one, gonna be hit, bow, and then go for the wrist, and then go for the arm, and then I'm gonna be hit when I pull, arm catch. Catch right here, my arm is still hanging on the arm. When I'm here, potentially, since his body's going that way, I'm gonna come up with a single, okay? Quick finish with a single, Very, uh, a good combination right here. I'm gonna go switch my shoulder from here over there. That's a really good one. But Marcos, you can get guillotine from there. It's possible, but if you do faster, it's really hard. If you don't like to do this switch from one shoulder to the shoulders, you can stay here. You can catch knee and then shoulder bump and then land it right there, right? Maybe next time we'll go more deeper into those single leg finish, but those are the options that comes with, okay? Um, one more time, when I'm here, I'm going this side. Look, from here, guys, I'm gonna go for the arm drag, boom, catch the leg, right? Use my forehead, come up, single. Right away, when you meet up in the middle, right here in the end, we're gonna switch base, boom. And then from here, we can talk about later also some guard passes, some options from the gear as well, okay? So that's the first reaction, okay? And then towards the end, I'll show two variation of speed uh, 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 in a speed drill. So second variation is one of my favorite one, right? I would like to say this entry is more from the outside, right? What Marcelo taught me was, Marcos, you have to fake the arm drag and commit into as a double leg entry, right? Because your leg's gonna be between. So it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna go there, there, and then I touch the arms, so move back a little bit. I'm gonna touch the arm here, so he doesn't know what I'm seeing. So, and then I touch, one, two. Comes quick. The difference from this one that I'm not coming from the outside and go for a single, which possible, right? It's a good one. But I do believe this one's one of the best out there because you commit body weight. So, go on the side, Matt. So look, when I go, I'm gonna show in slow motion. I'm here, boom. When I touch, I touch. Go. So from here, I touch, I really commit. Hit, now when I go for the double, I'm not going with the arm. I go with my body, so my leg, try to fall, man. Hit. Now, his arm is trapped. Now, I'm not holding him, I'm just tight. You can go for the body, you can go for the knee, and now with my body, look how he falls. And that's the favorite, that's one of my favorite one that, I catch, but I, I pick Marcel's brain a lot on this arm drag, and I love this one. And I do believe or not, I do this exact same entry in a gi. 
exactly the same one, okay? So one more time. This one, guys, you use body weight, okay? No arm coming like a baseball slide, no. You commit weight, right? So you have to set it up. I'm here, ball, go there, there. So here, ball, he doesn't know. So here, I go, boom, boom. And now glue right here. And then when you finish, when you finish from here, I change my head, hug, under. Now from here, what I wanna do, I wanna go to tripod base. Boom, 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 boom. Knee, and then land him out, okay? So, one more time. Maybe you just got in the video. The difference for the first one into the second one is the distance and the commitment, right? So I'm gonna show one more time the first one and then the second one, and you're gonna see, oh, the first one's a little more shallow, second one's more commitment, right? So the first one, I'm pulling my weight and hanging, boom, right here. Look, I'm not driving that weight, kind of sitting, pull him down, and then come up, right? Second one, I'm going here, I touch, again. That's one of my favorite one, and I do believe if you just practice how to, boom, boom, Right, so how you feel, how we start, how we start this drill? Go, go, here, touch, go, touch, go, and then touch, go. You just tap the person's leg, and your body taking care of the all the takedown. Okay, so one more time, fast speed, first and second. Okay, so the first one, go, come up. Right, second one, go, go. And that's the difference one to the other. And a lot of you guys are requesting those arm drag that Marcel does. And trust me, this, this is what I learned from him, but I don't think it, it's amazing, but I don't think it's even close how Marcel does. But this is the diff that I like to share with you that I got from him and that changed my game, okay? So make sure you pick this drill, start slow, understand the setup. It's most like the setup, right? First one, hang on the arm, get a single, come up. Second one, you don't hang, you touch, touch, and then use your body to knock the person down, okay? So now stick around, we're gonna go into the gi concept. Is that the same thing, arm drag with the gi? So now we're here with the gi game, right? So nothing changed, right? The only thing that in the gi that I like to say, I would just add one more step, right? Collar, right? The name pretty much tells you arm drag, and there is a collar drag, which all that idea is a setup. You need to set up the person. Also, you need to make the commitment. You cannot go halfway and then pause, and then that's what thing happened, right? So exactly the same setup. The first one, I'm here. Don't let him get a collar grip. I'm there. So arm here. Now I'm gonna go baseball. Boom, come up. Nothing changed. I do believe the gear is even better because you have more uh, stick, right? So come here, come up. The gi, you can go from here, another scenario that I like to, to finish. My single, I showed no gi version. Change the angle, I saw no gi version. Block the knee, bump, and then also I like my hand goes here and then push mat that way. And then you finish, okay? We're not gonna spend too much time, but I wanna show you guys how possible it is to the same entries in arm dragging the gi. So one more time, we did. So there you go here, pull, come up. There it is. And then the finish for this one, I'm gonna go that way, boom. Super slow, pull this way, and then pass the guard, okay? Second one, very, very similar, right? I'm just showing you, you guys in a gi because it's possible. That's why I wanna show you guys the difference, okay? So first one, boom. Second one, so here. There. Same thing. I want to pull him forward. Pull him forward. And I touch. Go. I'm so sticky on mat that if I don't commit, this is what happens. So the commitment for gi and no gi has to be exactly the same. If I don't commit my weight, mat step out. So for example, if I'm here, if I don't commit my weight, I lose it. You see like my leg, my body has to go. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. There is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. There is three lasso guard instructionals, one for each needs. 
there is winning double knee position. Everything starts from the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the last guard. If you want to check it out, go at bjfanatics.com and don't wait. Invest in your jiu jitsu today. For example, you can go here on a wall. I'm going here, boom. My shoulder, boom, boom. Land on mat. So I'm here, pull him forward, boom. Look, boom. You see, like how I'm touching? My shoulder would knock Matt down. Did you get hurt? No. Exactly. You cannot get hurt. But do one thing. You will get hurt if you don't do a commitment. So try to build slow. Build slow because that can be one of your best. Like that can be can be your best takedown ever. Arm drag. And I feel comfortable in no gi and also in gi because the commitment is the same. The person won't expect. Okay. And the final one was the collar drag. Okay, collar drag, the person cannot have your collar. I need the cross collar from the other person. So, I'm here, collar drag, okay? So now, Matt, I was gonna try to grab my collar and that's gonna interfere with my attack. Make sure you stop right here. Even if he holds my collar, I'm gonna try to break this grip. Now, I push him a little bit. Now, exactly the same thing, baseball slide, but I'm gonna trip the other leg. But more because in a no-gi, you don't trip, you could, but my commitment is one one leg. But since I have the collar and my arm is not here because I won't drive so deep, I'm gonna just do a quick trip right here. I'm gonna go move this way. I'm here, I'm gonna go that way. Look, boom. Collar drag helps keep him head low. My forehead goes here, boom. Come up, yes. Same thing, the collar is gonna do the exact same version as hit him on the shoulder. So the collar push towards the back. I'm gonna do the scholar to do this, boom. And then from here, just pass and go that way. Okay, so one more time, collar drag. I'm hit, if he grab the collar, I snap the grip. Move this way, I push, and then from here, boom, come up right away. And then push. And then from here, circle your foot, and then pass the guard. Okay, so basically, that's the difference from gi and no gi, nothing. The difference is the collar drag that you don't have in no gi, okay? So I appreciate <laughs> all you guys for requesting this one because this one's one of my favorite. And I'm gonna do more no gi concept for you guys out there. And it can be tricky, you know, when you play a lot of guard, a lot of last, a lot of gi game, very difficult to build a no gi game. It's difficult, but it's not impossible. I adapt myself very well into that. So I'll share with you guys everything that I learned from myself because I come from a gi game, but I train no gi and fight no gi all the time. And it's just about the mindset, okay? So keep us in the video, subscribe, share the video because a lot of no gi content comes for you guys, okay? And don't forget to comment. I'm gonna put right in the beginning of the video the shout out that people have been commenting, people been enjoy enjoying the, the, the channel. So thank you so much, I'm gonna put some cool comment that I, I appreciate the most there. Okay, so thank you so much, guys.